Hi, my name is Greg Schmalley. I'm a pediatric orthopedist at Seattle Children's Hospital and an associate professor of orthopedics and sports medicine at the University of Washington School of Medicine. Uh, today I'm going to speak on uh, aspirations of the proximal femur and ileum increase the sensitivity of return on cultures when biopsying uh, presumed septic arthritis of the hip. The aspiration of the hip in presumed septic arthritis uh, via a subadductor approach uh, uh, in complement with aspirating the proximal femur and uh, the ileum or superior to the acetabulum increased our return of positive results of uh, cultures by almost 20%. We also aspirated the uh, ileum or uh, pelvis just superior to the acetabulum with a third 18 gauge spinal needle. The child with an irritable hip can be challenging to diagnose, the cause of pain elusive. With a suspected hip infection, the goal is to detect an infusion and, if present, obtain specimens of the fluid while decompressing the hip. For aspirates with high cell counts, washout of the hip usually follows. Positive cultures allow focused antibiotic treatment. The return of cultures obtained at the time of hip aspiration in cases of septic arthritis is often only about 50%. We asked, would cultures of aspirates of bone on either side of the hip joint increase our ability to detect infection? We hypothesized that additional cultures would be informative. This is a consecutive series of 38 patients undergoing primary treatment in the operating room under general anesthesia for suspected septic arthritis of the hip. Aspiration of the hip was followed by aspirations of the ileum and proximal femur, each performed with 3-inch 18-gauge spinal needles. Aspiration of cloudy joint fluid resulted in arthrotomy and washout of the hip in all of these cases. Patients ranged from 6 months to 20 years of age and had an average of 3 of 5 positive predictors of infection. 21 of 38 met our gold standard for septic arthritis of the hip. Sensitivity of the hip aspirate alone was 38%. Adding the positive aspirates of the pelvis increased the sensitivity to 43%, including positive aspirates of the femur, 53%. Though some of the cases of positive aspirates of the ileum and femur were deemed false positives, many likely reflected periarticular osteomyelitis, given positive cultures from a knee joint and distal femur in one patient and positive blood cultures in another. Hence, the aspirates of the femur and ileum lowered test specificity, but the culture results often provided useful information. There are costs to processing additional cultures. These costs are small but real. Risks to the patient and surgeon seem low. As much pressure is required to push and twist a spinal needle into bone, placing a gauze sponge between the hub of the needle and the surgeon's glove de would decrease the risk to the surgeon. This was one surgeon's experience with a small cohort of patients. Concomitant periarticular osteomyelitis and septic arthritis of the hip is common. In 1986, Alderson proposed that osteomyelitis and septic arthritis were two forms of the same entity, that appearance of one could rapidly result in the other. We've shown here that aspirating the ileum and proximal femur at the time of hip aspiration increases the sensitivity of the procedure to diagnose local infection. The advantage of identifying the infectious organism by increasing the sensitivity of the diagnostic procedure is obvious. Antibiotic therapy may be focused to best treat the infection, potentially avoiding use of broad-spectrum antibiotics that may lead to resistant strains. Thank you.